Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. We're going to look at you and the person you're currently thinking about first, your energies towards each other, and then we'll look at your overall love spread. So what's going on with Capricorn and the person they're dealing with currently? What are the energies between the two? Ooh. Someone's in their head. Okay, you may come up with some kind of um, idea that gets you out of your head. And also, you may find the truth about something through thinking. Like, over. I shouldn't, like, promote overthinking, but you may overthink to the point where you find something out, where you realize something. So, the person you're thinking about... They feel like they're learning a lesson. If you guys are in separation, they feel like they're learning a valuable lesson here. I feel like they, I'm getting that they crave you. <laughs> they crave you. I don't know why I'm hearing crave. <laughs> they want this, but they're kind of thinking, okay, this is teaching me something. You know, like this is what I get. I'm learning something. They're kind of accepting a lesson here. Yeah, there's, there's been a breakup between the two of you. This person could have left you out in the cold. And they're learning. They're regretting that. You're still feeling... Um, I feel like you're still having moments of feeling left out in the cold. I definitely get this energy of you getting on with your life. But you do have these moments. The mutual energy. Five of Wands. You guys could be in conflict with each other. You could still feel mad at this person here and there. Things are definitely not running smoothly between you two. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, some of you. I see this person wanting to open up to you. They may get up off their behind and do something with the Four of Swords in reverse, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, if you're expecting them to be the one to do something, they just might do it. However, this page, this page of Cups in reverse... It's making me feel like some of you may not even care to accept this person's apology or they're going to have a hard time expressing what they have to express. Okay. They're definitely not going to have an easy time. Clarify this page of Cups and Reverse, please. Hmm. It's a lot about them resurfacing. But it's something to do with them not being able to... You know what I'm getting as well? This person may have planned out what they're going to say so much to the point where, where they're actually saying it, they mess up because it they, they was so robotic. They planned it out perfectly and then it fell apart because life doesn't work like that. Conversations with people don't work like that. You never know what the other person's going to say. So their apology or their communication, if they come towards you, it does seem like they're resurfacing. It's going to be very chappy is what I'm hearing. It's not going to be perfect as they had planned and planned for it to be. So don't be surprised if they seem weird, stuttering. This could be a Virgo for some of you. Again, Aquarius, Pisces. So let's see what we have for your main spread what's going on with Capricorn when it comes to love what's going on with Capricorn when it comes to their love life Magician. Yeah, you're finding something out. Moon in reverse, but let's see. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. This is serious. Hold on, hold on. You and this person are not done. And even if you're done with this person, there's going to be another encounter. 
There's going to be an encounter. Ten of Swords in reverse. You are currently healing. I feel like this person made you feel left out. You felt alone, betrayed by them in a way because they kind of left you alone. Um, but they're feeling everything that you felt when they first walked away or when you had to walk away. When this separated, when the separation happened and you felt low and alone, they're feeling this now. Five of Pentacles is now their energy. Six of Cups in reverse, being stuck on the past. They're stuck on this situation and they feel rejected by you. They feel like there might not be a chance. Some of you are realizing a lot about this person with the moon in reverse. I'm hearing that some of you may have had a dream or you're gonna have a dream that reveals something. You are definitely in power now. <laughs> if you were feeling low and alone before, you are in the magician energy, ace of cups. The mutual energy is the two of cups. So this is still some kind of soul soulmate connection. And what's blocking is this queen of pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. If I can pick it up. So this is like you being you. You may have really channeled your inner Capricorn because, you know, Capricorns know how to deal with... I'm sorry, there's noise upstairs. Capricorns know how to deal with or at least control their emotions. So you may be in this energy of control, emotional control, especially with the magician in your emotions. Having the upper hand, being fully in control of your emotions, fully in power, focusing on you. Now this person is the one who's kind of falling apart here. And there's going to be communication, Page of Swords. This person has been watching you as well. Two of Wands and Page of Swords. They've been watching you online. Clarify the Six of Cups in reverse, please. Moon in reverse. So they're starting to realize how they feel. Capricorn. They're starting to realize. They are in a low place now. They've had to admit to themselves the truth. I'm seeing this deck in my head, so let me pull some cards from it. What are the messages from, for Capricorn when it comes to their love situation here? Divine intervention. Music. Hmm. Someone in the situation could do music, unfinished business, party. You could run into this person at a party or you are partying more. But this person, they want to come forward. There's this realization about how they feel about you. Clarify the five of pentacles, please. Unstable. Five of Cups in reverse, Eight of Cups. I get this person feeling like they've mourned a lot of loss. They maybe, if, if, if there was an argument, horrible arguments in the past, they are over um, the negative things. I'm seeing that time has healed some wounds here. Clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they feel like you're releasing them. You've let them go. You've, they feel like there's... You feel like you've let them go. Clarify the... Moon in reverse, please. Clarify the moon in reverse. Hmm. Some of you may find out that this person has more money than they claim to have. 
You could like act like they don't have anything. I don't know where I'm getting this. It could also be that their luck is turning around financially. Or has turned around financially, but in the love department, they're kind of stuck on the past with the Six of Cups in reverse, which would be you. So they may have some good things happening in their life, but it's as if that doesn't matter to them because I'm seeing that their headspace is focusing on what they don't have, which is you. And also another story I'm getting for some of you is that you could be the one who's financially well off and you could find that this person may have tried to use you. I don't feel like that's for a lot of you, a lot of you, but the King of Pentacles, some, someone has, someone's financially stable here, or like has become financially good. So I don't know if this person was broke in the past and now they're getting somewhere financially, but still not happy because the love life is not going so well. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. We saw 11-11. Hmm. I feel like you want love, right? You want a connection. But only if it's right, like, I, I feel like if this person is the same as they used to be, you wouldn't want them back. I see that you want love, but you, your standards are higher now in what you go for, what you're looking for. You may have settled for this person's behavior in the past, but, you, you know, if the behavior hasn't changed, you probably won't take them back or won't be interested in them. Clarify the Two of Cups, please. Clarify the Two of Cups, mutual energy. It's maybe a soulmate connection, but both of you are, are, are rejecting it. It could be that they rejected it in the past and you are now rejecting the soulmate idea of this person. Because it would, if, if it's true, it would need to be rebuilt. It wouldn't just be like a match made in heaven right away. What are the messages for Capricorn? Reconciliation. <laughs> you see, this is what I was talking about earlier. Shy, tongue-tied, nervous, doesn't know what to say, overthinks responses, <laughs> double-check spelling, nail-biting, timid. I told you they're like really trying to plan out what they're going to say. And it's gonna, they're going to mess up because they plan too much. Like, it's too unnatural. So they end up messing up because conversation has to flow on its own. You can't plan a conversation with someone. <laughs> you don't know how the other person is going to respond. So... When this person shows up, they will be tripping over their words. So just in case you think that they're lying, it's not that they're lying, it's that they tried to plan this. <laughs> they tried to plan it perfectly and it, that's just not how life works. What do we have for Capricorn? Make it like it was. Make up, break up, time to talk it out, missing you, nostalgia, back to basics. So they kind of want, the, they're stuck on the past. They're stuck on how it used to be. Even if this person has come into money, they are missing something in their life. They may have been in the past more focused on money than you and now that they have the money, it's like, oh crap, this is not what's making me happy. So we have sound of music, signs through songs, healing music, meditation sounds, singing bowl, nature's song, pay attention to lyrics. So you may get messages through songs about this situation. Something to do with music as well. Sound of music and music. So I don't know if you guys like have a special song or they're a musician or you are a musician. 
Oh, there's something about music. What messages do we have for Capricorn? True love, pure love, honest connection, obstacle, blocks, pathways, delays. Communication, texting, phone calls, online, spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul. Remember earlier I said that they learned something, like they're realizing they've learned something from this. So I feel like this could be a very materialistic person in the past until they caught a connection with you and then left thinking they'll have it all figured out. They're just going to focus on their money and then they realize that <clears throat> the love and the spiritual stuff is more powerful than the material you may have turned this person into a spiritual person <laughs> what are the love messages for capricorn reaching out this is so like this is either your message or it's not if you don't believe this person is reaching out or if you don't have anyone this is probably not for you or this is someone who's they're reaching out, they're going to be stuttering, they're going to be nervous. This is really important to them, how it goes, that they've overplanned it. What are the messages for Capricorn? You are ready. Not for you. Hidden agenda. Whoa, what's going on here? Clarify that for you, please. Why is this here? There could have been a. Mm, wait, what's, why is hidden agenda here? If you have. If you are financially stable, be careful. Clarify hidden agenda a little bit more, please. The hidden agenda is something to do with money. So if this person comes towards you and they're broke, be careful of a hidden agenda. I do get strongly that this person is realizing a spiritual thing. And remember I said before, they may have been trying to use you for money in the past. But I feel like they were very materialistic in the past and now they've realized that love is very important, their feelings are very important, so it could be, and I'm still telling you to be cautious, but it could be that they at first thought they were going to use you for money, but then they fell in love, and that became more important. And especially if this person has worked out their own financial situation, um, that could be a good sign too, because then they have their own money, and you don't have to worry about that, but it could be that they did think that they could, that being with you, if you have a lot of money, would be beneficial to them. So not for you. Give me another card for not for you. What is this talking about for Capricorn? Okay, there's some, I don't know if it's the same connection. There may, if you have another option, there may be one option that's not for you. Somebody may not be for you. And that will be some, someone that you've been healing from. This complicates it for me because now I only, this only makes sense if you're talking to more than one person. If there's more than one, let's say someone else wants you, but you feel like they're not for you. You may have dated this person previously. They would, may have been not good and you had to heal. I see that this not for you person is someone that you are like knowingly not taking a leap, not taking a leap towards. So this is if you have another option and you're like, hell no, I'm not taking a leap towards them. That would be them. But if it's this person that you feel is not for you, then that's how you feel. Let me see. Hold on, let me clarify the outcome. Page of Swords, 
Can I find a page of swords, please? Okay. Two of Cups. This is confusing me because there is someone. Unless you were dating like a business person, but they were not the best type of person. This King of Pentacles. You're finding out the truth about something to do with either someone wanting to use you for money in the past, someone who could potential, potentially try to use you for money, or someone who already has money, always had money as long as you've known them, but they were not like the best type of person. Like they may have caused you a lot of pain. Maybe they get a lot of options because they have a lot of money and ended up hurting you. Something to do with this King of Pentacles here and money. But then there's this spiritual aspect where you've turned someone spiritual. You've made them stop chasing money and start chasing a connection. A feeling. A love. Like love. Feeling. Let me see. What's the advice for Capricorn? advice for Capricorn take a risk yeah this is a risk because I don't know like seeing this hidden agenda and this not for you now I don't know like at first it was just yep this person loves you they've changed they're coming towards you now it's like who's who who has the hidden agenda so we have take a risk we have yes Let's see advice for Capricorn. I'm going to get four of these cards. I'm being drawn to four. Yes, yes, you can rest short-term, temporary. So it could be a short-term, temporary connection. Maybe it was, there was something that was short-term in the past that didn't work out. That person could be trying to get back with you. And you're still thinking, okay, no, it's not going to work out. I feel frustrated because I don't know who are the characters in your story. But you would know. You would know. So it's like there's someone who you're giving a big no to, and there's someone from your past who may have been very materialistic at one point and is now very spiritual, but. Keep in mind, if they are in a position where they're broke, be careful. I don't know if they're trying to use you or if they're going to be straight up and tell you that they're not doing well financially. I'm getting so many messages because I also get that someone may have fixed their financial issues and is coming towards you stable. So just keep an eye out when it comes to money. Money, okay? When it comes to money, make sure the person you're dealing with is financially safe, not safe, financially secure, and has the right intentions, unless they come to you and admit that they're having financial issues, that way they're not trying to sneak and use you for money, they're actually asking for help, but I don't know, something to do with money that you have to watch out for, or a man or a woman who has money already, but is a player. Okay, I'm done trying to figure this out. Let me clarify this magician. Why is the magician here? Because I feel like with the magician, you are in control anyways. So it's not like you're going to fall into any trap. I don't feel, I don't see you falling into a trap. I think you're doubting your power as well with this Eight of Swords. This reminds me of my, my Capricorn friends who are like negative every time I try to lift them up and encourage them they're like ah, but this and that so stop doubting your power you can discern who's right and who's wrong for you don't keep yourself stuck emotionally like take control okay <laughs> you have manifestation power and no one can take advantage of your emotions so this is what I'm seeing for you Capricorn could be dealing with a Taurus Pisces, there was Virgo earlier, Sagittarius, Taurus again, Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces again, and those are the main signs. So thank you guys so, so much.
for watching and I'll see you in the next one.